Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Cars and Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use audit log search in Office 365. So audit log search, it's the search criteria allow you to search for anything re related to Office 365 um, activities. So now let's get started. First, I log into Office 365 here, and then I want to click on Compliance. You can access Audit Log Search right from Office 365, or you can go to protections.office.com. Once you're in here, you can go to Search, and then audit log search with audit log search you can choose the result of the, all the activities or you can specify what you want to look for for example if I want to look for um, channels related to teams so just type in chan And as you can see here, there's deleted channel. I can search for anything about deleted channels or added channels. And if I want to go to the parents of Teams, I just go into Microsoft Team Activities here. I gotta clear this one first. Microsoft Teams activities. So it's a little, it's a little slow here. Let's try again. Searching for Teams. So added channels is seven items. And if I want to choose the date here, which started 4.11 to 4.13, so it's two days. Let's see if anybody create any channels. So there's no data between those dates. Let me clear it out. You can clear the activity um, result here by clicking on the clear up um, button, or you can go into, let's choose channel again. Well, let me search for anything um, between the, the 11th and the 13th. Click on search. So when you, want to access audit log search you need to turn on the audit logs if your tenant is new and you never turn it on before by default the audit logs is turned off so you need to turn it on once you uh, log into your office 365 and go into audit log search there should be a button here that says enable audit logs and it can take up to 24 hours so here is the result of all the activities within Office 365 tenant. And if I want to specify a user, I can do so here. You can specify an internal user or you can specify an external user. So as you can see, so everything here is related to Adele. And also you can create alert policy by clicking on the new alert. 
and give it a name called test the descriptions customs and the send this alert when activities here you can choose send this alert when someone check out a file exam for example and send this alert to who do you want to send it to um, an administrator so that's what you can do with the alert policy i'm going to cancel it out and also you can do audit retention policy <clears throat> so you want to give it a name test the descriptions give it a descriptions record types or record types is regarding what do you want to look for Azure Active Directory CRM data governance or Microsoft Teams let me choose Microsoft Teams activities what kind of activities you want to look for Microsoft team ac activities so everything related to Microsoft teams durations within the you want to keep it for one year so priorities priority you want you can give it a zero to one thousand just say if I want to do 100 or 1000 and click on save so this is the audit retention policies allowed you to um, keep the information for over a year let me cancel it out so that's the audit log search again you need to turn on the audit log search for office 365 to keep all the records regarding activities within your office 365 Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe. And oh, sorry, one more thing. So you can filter the result here or you can export the result. So you can export to a, uh, I think an Excel file. Let's see, save result or download our result. Yep, it's a CSV file. And if you want to learn more about the audit logs, you can click on the about search, about searching the audit logs here. So that's it, folks. Thank you for watching and have a great day.